This is Stumpy. She gets her name from her missing foot, which she probably lost to a poacher's snare as a baby. She also has a troubled uterus. Yet despite these ailments, the future of the species in Malaysian Borneo may rest on these hairy shoulders. Earlier this year, a crack team of German vets flew out to Sabah in Malaysian Borneo to perform a first in Sumatran rhino assisted reproduction. With the wild population in the region estimated to be fewer than 40 and probably more like 20, the only way to ensure the survival of the species in Sabah may now be to bring as many of them as possible into captivity and perform high-tech assisted reproductive technology. While Stumpy is in her reproductive prime, ultrasound scans show that her uterus is riddled with cysts, making pregnancy an impossibility for the moment. So the mission was to insert an endoscope into her uterus and remove the cysts. The highest priority is the uterine endoscopy to uh, take a sample out of the pathological formation, which are mainly cysts, but could be also a tumor nature. We, we have no idea yet what, we're, what we expect, because we saw them only by ultrasound. Getting this biomaterial will give us a much better picture what's going on in her and uh, what will be the next strategy. But after almost an hour, it became clear that the procedure was not going to plan. Stumpy's cervix was tightly constricted because of the phase of her menstrual cycle, preventing any possibility of inserting the endoscope to remove those cysts. We had a lot of surprises, and uh, one surprise was that uh, the passage through the cervix was extremely difficult. It took us nearly 40 minutes to get the catheter in, and uh, that means um, there's no way that we can insert any endoscope. So our original plan to go with an endoscope and perform a controlled removal of the cyst failed. Stumpy seemed unfazed by the procedure, but it does raise some seriously tricky questions. When is the right time to focus all energy on captive breeding? Is scarce conservation effort and funding really best spent on procedures that are so expensive with a relatively small chance of success? And even if viable offspring are produced using some of these more futuristic techniques, is there any point if the wild habitat is no longer there to take them back? But for the moment, a dedicated few are determined to bring Stumpy and her species back from the brink by whatever means necessary. And they even managed to measure her up for a prosthetic foot in the meantime. <laughs> 